Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I wanted to, um, I don't know, I wanted to create my own neutral palette. Like if I were to come out with a neutral palette for a brand or if I came out with a brand that released a neutral palette, this is kind of what it would look like. Um, even though I don't wear neutrals that often, if I were, they would be these. So I have a little custom palette here. It's a, it's in a Tarte Z palette and I'll run through everything, uh, for you here. So this would be what my neutral palette looks like. Let me zoom you in. Um, so we got a good mix of warmer tones and cooler tones. I love like these red burgundies and especially like these silvery kind of deep charcoal colors. So I'll go through like some swatches here quick. So first this is the Cleona Cosmetics Glitter Multichrome in Griselle. Drizel I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is, this is not a neutral tone, but it, it goes really well with neutrals. It's kind of like your pop color. It has this beautiful reflect to it where it's blue and red you're not going to be able to pick it up on camera as much it's so it's so unbelievably gorgeous like I have no words for this shadow it always just blows my freaking mind um anything these three in these squares here those are all from the Milani soft and sultry palette so we have this deeper charcoal color here looks like this and then we have a lighter kind of charcoal color, but still deepish. Oh, shoot. Like so. And then we have this, uh, this deep kind of grungy gunmetal-y shimmer here. Um, I love this kind of color. I don't wear it a lot, but if I'm gonna wear neutrals, I love these like ashy kind of cool tones right here, but with a lot of depth to them still. Um, and then this next row here, so this one, the shadow is from Lunar Beauty from the Life's a Drag palette. I'll list the name on the screen. Um, but it's this beautiful, like, deep burgundy kind of color. Looks like this. And it pairs really well with this Cleona shadow up here. Um, next, this is from a ColourPop palette. Honestly, I couldn't tell you which one. I can try to find it. Uh, but it's like a warm, just mid-tone brown, which works really well with that reddish shade uh, if you're my, at least if you're my skin tone. If you're deeper you'd probably want something else but looks like so. So they pair really well together. And then this next one is from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Um, it's, it might be Taurus. I don't know if it's Taurus or not but it's a, it's like a neutral tone shimmer. It's not quite warm and it's not quite cool but it, it pairs really well with warm and cool tones. Um, so it's, it's stunning. Uh, it works as an inner corner in it, uh, as an inner corner highlight for me, but it's kind of grungy as an inner corner highlight, but on a deeper complexion, I would imagine it works really well for that. Um, and then we have another light shimmer. This is from ColourPop. This would be kind of like my inner corner shade, just kind of a basic light kind of gold champagne here like that. It's probably hard to see on camera, but yeah, that's what we're looking like so far. Um, I also probably couldn't tell you what this one is from. It might be from the Bye Bye Birdie palette. I don't know. Then I have um, just a matte black and a matte white. These are both from ABH. The white, I don't think I'm going to be able to swatch very well, but the black you'll be able to see for sure. This white picks up better on a brush than it does with your finger. Yeah, you can't see that at all, but yeah, the matte black. Oh god, I didn't know my arm turned like this. So then we'd have a black, and then this last color here is just a silver. This one is from the Viseart Grand Pro Volume 2 palette. Uh, it's unbelievable. I'll swatch it at the top so you can really see it, but this silver is just like, oh, do you see that? <laughs> it's so freaking pretty. So yeah, this is what, this is what I would come out with if I came out with a neutral palette. Um, I always thought that if I made a neutral palette, I might make, um, like two different versions of it. So keep the tones, like, like the poppy tones, I guess, like, like the silver, um, like the, like the shimmers and like the, the Cleona, uh, glitter multi-chrome, but maybe switch up the, uh, the colors to fit multiple skin tones. Like, I don't know if these two would be deep enough. If you have a deeper complexion, you might want something a little deeper than that. I'm sure they would show up on you, but they might not have the richness that you want. But I, I don't know. You might have to let me know what you think, but I think the black sometimes serves that purpose as like a mixing agent, but it also cools things down. So it's like, I don't know. Obviously I'm very fair. So <laughs> 
I don't have much to say on that or much experience in that department, but yeah, I really like this little palette that I created, honestly. I think she is so cute. Um, if you want to see me do looks with this, let me know. I was going to do one today, but I wanted to do something mint, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, if I were to create a custom, or if I were to create a neutral palette for a brand or for my own brand, then this is probably what it would look like. Something similar anyway. Definitely lots of cool tones in there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!